Howdy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have one of the rarest diecasts from 2012. Well, in terms of the diecast mold, it is a Dodge Challenger. Yes, the Sam Hardish Jr. number 12 Alliance Nationwide Series Challenger. Unfortunately, this was the last year of Dodge being in NASCAR as the time of this video, and we'll be taking a look down memory lane. So let's go ahead and hop to it, fellas. Alrighty, folks, right the good old box in. Let's dive into today's diecast review, guys. What a blast from the past. Holy cow, folks, man. I remember when these cars were very common every Friday night uh, at a short track at one and a half mile. And, uh, man, being in 2024 and not seeing Dodge still in NASCAR, I got to admit, it's bittersweet. So this paint scheme here is very similar. Uh, it had a great championship battle with Austin Dillon. I think it was 2013. Uh, when he actually was driving a Ford. But Sam Hortis Jr., a lot of people don't remember, but he had a great shot at winning the Nationwide Championship, which was the points format from Daytona to Homestead. There was no playoffs. There was no March Madness BS bracket. It was point to point. You better be on your game, or you ain't got a snowball's chance of winning the title. Uh, so it was definitely a different era in NASCAR history. Yeah, let's go and hop to it. Of course, for all your diecast shopping needs, make sure to head over to Circle B Diecast. Use promo code Diecast Buffet. Get six dollars off on shipping. Any orders thirty dollars or more. So you got a large truck parts right here on the hood. You got the Penzoil decal. I do see some little uh, oopsie doos with this car that I've noticed. And again, the reason this one was probably in a box is because it did have some errors and people didn't buy it, and it probably sat at a store shelf for a while. Obviously, that's an error right there on the paint on the wheel. That's probably a, a splotch of paint that uh, that spat whenever they were spraying it. I think they take like a little uh, a rim that kind of guards around the wheel, and then they just shoot paint into it, kind of like a, like a masking tube or something. Anyways, that's a factory error there. I could see a little bit of some issues on the clear coat right here. You could see it right here as well. I don't know the condition of this car. Actually, I think this might actually come off, so it might be okay. I don't know the condition of this car. Uh, this was sent to me, so uh, it's going to be for a custom, which is going to be cool. But, uh, yeah, th another thing that I noticed with this car, is, and I can't tell if this is true or not, but it looks like the roof is kind of squunched down. Am I the only one that notices that? It almost looks like the roof was almost stepped on, so I, I hope that's not the case. Uh, but anyways, go to the front end of the car. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite things about the Dodge Challenger is the front headlights. It, it really is like an alternate version of the Camaro headlights, how it's like embedded in the die-cast mold, but it just looks mean. I mean, it just looks mean, bro. And especially with like all the Dodge uh, Challengers, Chargers, the Hellcats, all those cool cars they have. Man, could you imagine the, the paint schemes they could do with the Mopar stuff? Oh my gosh. I really wish Dodge would come back to NASCAR in some way. Oh, yeah, there's another oopsie deal on that. So, yeah, this is one of those that probably sat around at a die-cast store or something for a while because uh, people noticed the errors, which th th that's kind of a good thing because since this one's going to be a donor uh, for a build, that that's okay. It's got Dodge right there, number 12. You got Snoko, Snoko. Got the left side of the die-cast. Got Worth. Alliance truck parts. Uh, another one of these random paint splotches. I mean, they, they they probably all will come off, but it looks like, I don't know, it's like it spat all over the car. Uh, Dodge there. Got the beautiful number 12 nationwide. You got a bunch of grime on this thing. Goodyear, Comp, Mail, Moog, uh, whatever the bit that is, K&N. Got Sam Hornish Jr., SKF. Got some very tiny decals on the B-Post. I can barely even read them, to be honest with you, NASCAR race car. Go to the back end of it. I miss these, uh, the, the, this just bar tail light design. The Dodge Challengers for the Cup Series had something very similar, uh, but just such a beautiful die cast. Small got Alliance Truck Parts Challenger there. Go to the right side of the die cast. And I think this is the first time we've ever done a die cast review on a Dodge Challenger nationwide car, which is really dope. Uh, definitely a beautiful die cast. It's a shame, guys, that they barely made uh, much of these. And you might be thinking to the to the intro of the video, why why is this one of the rarest die cast molds ever? Because it had a extremely short production span. It only lasted, I think, two maybe three years, and I think they only made two different die casts of it. This one, the Alliance Truck Parts car, and then um, Brad Keselowski's Discount Tire car or whatnot. 
So that's like two die casts, and I think they only made these for 2011 and 2012. I don't know about 2010. I, I haven't. I don't think I've seen any from 2010, but I know from 2012 they made them for the nationwide series. Anyways, when you only have a production of like two separate die casts, they might only make, I don't know, 3,000 of each, 4,000 of each. And with so many like backmarker teams throughout the years running dodges and other Cup Series teams, or Cup Series, but nationwide teams at the time running dodges, if you wanted to make a custom of it, this was the only two cars you could pick. So it would be like the Toyota Supra is only getting made in 2019. That's what, what that was a reality for years, and people started scrapping all the 2019 Supers. I mean, all the Jeffrey Earnhardt cars were just getting used as donors because they were the only ones released up until 2021 when they really started cranking them out. Uh, so it, it's it's crazy that, like, if they didn't make, like, for instance, if they only made two Toyota Camry Cup car die casts every year, this is the reality of how it would be. It would be extremely rare. And you would not have any of them uh, available for donors. Got a lot of truck parts right there on the deck lid. Now, I got to be honest with you. Um, the, the spoiler is a lot smaller than I remember. Like on the Camaros, they're definitely more pronounced. Uh, I, I think the front end's a little bit more pronounced as well. Like, like it's more like the headlights are a little bit deeper on the real car. But regardless, I love this diecast mode. It's such a shame they barely made in much of these. Um, it makes you wonder, though. With how like the, the Xfinity series has really embraced uh, the, the 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 modern kind of style cars with the Ford Mustang, the Camaro, and of course now with the uh, the Toyota Supra, how would a 2024 or 2025 Dodge Challenger look in the uh, Xfinity series? That'd be really cool. It's probably it might not even be called the Xfinity series in 2025. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, anyways, man, what an awesome diecast. It's one of the more rare uh, die-cast molds ever produced because it was such a short expansion or, or a short uh, production because 2013 came around and they all went to Ford. So the Ford Mustang mold was the replacement of it. So if you have one of these, take care of it. Um, if you have a, a, a beat-up one, then yeah, it's a good, you know, you can use it as a donor, but uh, these things are pretty darn rare, and especially with the box and everything. I don't know the exact production amount, I would assume it's somewhere around 5,000 of these made, give or take. Who knows? It is a nationwide series diecast, so uh, the production numbers are expected to be down. But it's just crazy to think that um, how many paint schemes we've seen with a Dodge Challenger and how few of them actually got made. I th I, to my knowledge, no more than four individual diecasts, like you know, numbers, paint schemes, whatever. Only four of them at most were made, 2011 and 2012. Could be mistaken on that. And uh, definitely a very cool era in NASCAR history. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think about this car down below. Do you have one of these Dodge Challenger nationwide cars from years past? Also, that wheel is messed up. Like, look how little paint that's on that thing. That rear wheel looks a whole lot better. They, they were really inconsistent with a wheel paint job on this. But uh, yeah, anyways, what an interesting diecast, guys. Have a blessed one. Diecast Buffet, signing off.